We're working on the review lesson two. We are going to be converting measurements in this lesson. So when converting measurements, in this class we're always going to convert from a larger to a smaller unit, okay? So when you're solving a problem, you want to make the larger unit smaller if possible. So here, one kilogram equals how many grams? So we know that kilo, the prefix kilo, is equal to 1,000, right? So we're going to take 1,000 times 1 to get 1,000 grams. Centimeter to meter. So we, need, we know that centi means 1 hundredth, right? So 10 centimeters, okay, that's 1 one hundredth of a meter. Okay, so 10 centimeters is going to be equal to 1 tenth of a meter, right? Because it's 1 one hundredth, and you've got a zero here, so it becomes a tenth. Yards to inches, we know that 1 yard equals 3 feet, right? Well, we're converting to inches. One foot equals 12 inches. So we're going to have to do some conversions here, aren't we? So four yards, how many feet would be in four yards? So we have to start, we have a one to three ratio, right? So we're going to have to take this number, whatever, however many yards we have, and multiply by three to get the feet because one times three is three. So four yards, we multiply that by three, we'll get the feet, right? Because it's a multiplication relationship, okay? So four times three is 12, but we need inches. Now if I look at the relationship here, I take a foot. If I multiply it by 12, I get 12 inches, right? So the ratio here is one to 12, okay? So I have to take my 12 feet, multiply it by 12 to get my inches. 12 times 12 is 144. So 4 yards is equal to 144 inches. Kilometers to meters. So if I have 34,000 kilometers, remember kilometers means a thousand, okay? So if I'm going from a really large unit to a smaller unit, my number of pieces is actually going to get bigger, right? So I'm going to multiply by a thousand because my unit's getting smaller. So basic fact is 34, one, two, three zeros, one, two, three zeros. So 34,000 kilometers is equal to 34 million meters. Meters are smaller than kilometers, so I'm going to have more of them if I'm going to represent the same amount in a bigger unit, which is kilometers. All right, um, that is all for tonight. For your homework, what I would like you to do is solve these following problems. So that is your homework for tonight. Thank you so much for your hard work and I will see you tomorrow.